Christian. Okay, before we move to the next uh, presentation with uh, the third and the last keynote speaker for today's session, I have uh, a few announcements to make just for the fun activities here. Uh, kindly told by uh, Ajahn Warsun. Okay, uh, for those who have the hashtag here on your name tag, if you post it in your IG or Twitter, uh, by using the TCU uh, IEC 2017, or you post it on your Facebook uh, on page uh, TEC 2017 event, your picture will appear on the monitor in front of uh, our uh, grand hall here. So you can do that during your lunch time. Okay, not for now. That's for the sake of your information. Okay, so we are going to have uh, the last presentation by the third keynote speaker. He is currently a senior lecturer and assistant professor at the Department of Teaching and Learning Innovations, Faculty of Education, University Kabangsan, Malaysia, or UKM, and serves as the e-learning coordinator for the faculty. He is also an associate fellow of the Center of Teaching and Learning Technologies at UKM. His research interest in, in the area of teaching and learning innovations, as well as the open and distance education. He received his Bachelor of Engineering degree from the Faculty of Engineering and also Masters of Software Engineering from University of Malaya. He was awarded his PhD of Information Technology and Resource from the Education Faculty, UKM, in 2014. This week is guest, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Helmi Norman. Hello. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีไหมครับ All right. Okay. That's all I know. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's try this. Okay. Uh, hello and welcome everybody. Um, good noon. Good afternoon. Good morning. Okay. So today uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, redesigning the learning experience on MOOCs. Before that, uh, Professor Kwok from uh, Korea talked about um, emotional uh, intelligence and so social interactions. And um, Professor Handy talked about um, innovations comes from you. So, so how do we blend that? And how do we mix that? And, um, and so the talk today that I'm going to uh, present is on the experience. How do we um, redesign the learning experience? So the 21st century learning experience, it's about connections, it's about mobility, it's about um, ubiquitousness, right? Okay. Okay. So now what I'm uh, actually doing is uh, connecting my Apple Watch to the iPhone, right, to my iPhone, and my iPhone to the uh, MacBook and it's uh, going on a uh, keynote. So these are the uh, experiences or these are the learners. These are the new, let's say, Gen Z, Gen Alpha, Gen Beta, right? So, so these are the, 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 the new generation learners that we are facing. So can we use traditional methods? Yes. But um, surely they get bored, right? Five minutes, like hearing me talk or you know giving a lecture, it'll be boring. Sorry. Okay. So let me start by. Um, so in our uh, previous keynotes, um, they talked about a, a really, let's say, uh, overall 
Okay, the first one from Professor uh, Kwok in Korea. So he talked about uh, a global, okay, and how uh, Korea implemented their uh, MOOCs. And uh, Professor Hanley on innovation comes from you. So here, um, this is uh, what we did in uh, Malaysia, right? Um, in our MOOC. So, um, in 2014, there were four universities uh, with five MOOCs. So, um, this is the Malaysia MOOC uh, initiative, right? So, uh, in our university, UKM, or National University of Malaysia, uh, we started with the Ethnic Relations MOOC. So, uh, it started very small, okay? Um, with uh, technical support, right, uh, from the university. So we launched our MOOCs in um, September, uh, 8th September. Here's some pictures, right, from the event. All right, okay, so here's, here's the sound. So this is what it looked like, the first MOOC uh, in UKM, right? And this is one of our professor's MOOCs, uh, Professor Armin. Um, he's a very prominent professor in Malaysia. So he won the uh, Commonwealth of Learning MOOC. You can have a look at his MOOC. And this is another MOOC, uh, the Malay language. So we use international students talking in Malay language. Okay, she's saying, what a beautiful house. All right, so in 18 September, September 2014, the Malaysia MOOC launch. So this is um, the uh, four MOOCs that I told you just now. Okay, so this is with our Ministry of Education. Uh, but the problem is, um, uh, it was it was hard because we had to, to use a lot of resources. We had to use um, uh, technical people. It was a large crew, and we had to have our scripts, video scripts, and there had to be actors. So it was it was. It was big, and and production had to be made easier. So how do we do it? Oh God, sorry. Okay. So a catalyst was needed. Okay. Two years after that, so the deputy vice chancellor challenged each faculty to produce at least five MOOCs. So, um, for each uh, faculty, right? And um, our faculty of education, since we were from the education faculty, so he said, 10 MOOCs for you, all right? So uh, we initiated the MOOC uh, Faculty of Education project. So we had three months. Um, he wanted to launch the MOOCs uh, in September, so it was, what, June, I think? So we had very limited resources. So, but we managed to produce 15. How do we do it? So there are a couple of steps. Empower instructors as MOOC content developers. As Professor Hanley was saying, innovation starts from you, right? So we had to inspire the faculty members in uh, pr producing content themselves because um, we didn't have a big budget. There was actually no budget, zero budget but uh, only for training, right? And so, okay, so what we did was we empowered the instructors with iPads and the uh, Apple ecosystem. 
We use uh, GarageBand, we use iMovies, we use uh, iBooks and iTunes U. I will show you with a, a couple of videos after this. Okay, so this is the um, GarageBand um, in our innovative um, hub. Uh, a few of, uh, we had some, some visitors from um, King Mongkut University of Technology here. Okay, so um, what, what we did was you can create your own music using GarageBand, right? And um, here, so here the lectures are um, using uh, iMovie, right? Creating their own, okay? Um, creating their own content. And here's one of the MOOCs, right? Uh, well, actually, uh, I'm showing uh, what I created with um, the Photo Booth app. It's, it's like five to three minutes, okay? five minutes max. Okay? So what you do is you just... Uh, okay, th th this is um, with Keynote, and then with Photo Booth. Okay. Anyway, it's in Malay. But the thing is, just you ha you just have to shoot your own video, and then put it in the app, and then just put some filters. Right, and it looks like a well ish kind of a studio, but but it's it's very easy. So so that's what we want. We we want to empower, empower you. You have to do it yourself because, uh, because you can't wait for every, every, everybody else, right? Uh, I mean, I really like what Professor Hanley was saying. It comes from you because you have to innovate. You have to do it. it and, and, and technology is really easy, you know? It's just clicking, right? Okay, this is, uh, okay, let me show you another... So, let me pause for a bit. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Okay. So, the, um, as you can see with the icons, that's using PictoChart. Very easy software to use. And this is by using Biteable. You just put text, and templates are there. You just click, click, click. Voila. All right. Very easy. You can search it now and try. Very easy. is very fluid okay and the music is very chirpy okay you can have a look at it at at, at my MOOC okay all right so step two what we did was we cultivated educational innovation culture among learners right so it's not just the teachers the instructors but it's from the learners okay so blending the 21st century learning with existing learning practices. Okay, so this is the, sorry, it's in Malay also, but this tells you, um, well, this visualizes what we can do with technology. So here, um, this is our students in the faculty. So this is um, 10 a.m at the hub, so assessing the MOOCs, right? Okay, this is one of my uh, classes.
So this is the Braille Lab. So it's not just about online, but blending the experience. So you see here technology with the Braille typewriter. This is my colleague. So you have a what do you call it, a mirror and they can make observations from there. Um, this is the gazebos or the uh, outside learning environments. And we also integrated um, the um, app, the health app. So we, we drew uh, lines in the pathways so you could just walk and it calculated how many um, kilos you burned, right? Okay. So, gonna, all right. okay. Now, um, with that video, with that teaser video to the students, what we managed to create is the students uh, managed to create around uh, now eight MOOCs. Okay? And this is one of the MOOCs that the students created from them, themselves. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this So I this is a course on um, academic writing. Michelle, and we are the facilitator of this course. Writing has always been a constant challenge for every student. It is also proven that writing is one of the most difficult productive skills to be acquired. As a university student, academic writing becomes twice as hard from a conventional writing. And effective writing is important to make sure. All right. That okay. So, um, what I wanted uh, to convey to, uh, I mean, in, in that slide, is that the students can also create. It, it doesn't have to be from us also. Again, innovators come from you. You have to inspire. You do it yourself. Inspire your students, and they do it for themselves. And then it becomes a large community, and it will flow. All right? So step three, redesigning the current learning environments in 21st century active learning spaces. Okay, so... This is a um, this is an initiative by the faculty, uh, the innovative learning spaces. So this is on uh, based on the um, IRU, MRU, Innovative Research University Australia and Malaysian Research University Australia Higher Education um, Active Learning Spaces project. Okay, um, this is me and uh, Professor Matt and um, some colleagues from Malaysia and Australia. So what we did was we used the uh, pedagogy space technology framework. Okay, so this is important. We always um, go to um, pedagogy and technology, but we, we rarely uh, go to the space. Okay? The space, the virtual space, and the physical space. So this is also another model that we use, SKD. Uh, you can look it up. All right, anyway, so this is the previous learning space, right? This is the Irish Center. Um, nobody used it, zero, zero people used it. Zero learners. We had events, but rarely. And what we did was we redesigned the learning space, okay? Here, there, you can see me um, painting. <laughs> but the thing is, um, no resources, well, limited, very limited. So what we did, we got some paint from the university, free paint. So they said, oh, it's going to cost a lot because you have to, okay, we'll do it ourselves. Empower, <laughs> innovation comes from you, right? Okay, so what we did, um, the students and lecturers, so what we did, this is the transformation of the learning space. Removed all the furniture, put some bean bags, and um, put some chairs, that's it. And, 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 and as you see there, there's a, on the, where's the mic? Uh, as you can see there, there's a, like a bar there. 
it's actually an a information counter. So we change that, and we just uh, put some high chairs, and it becomes a learning space. Right? Ooh, sorry. Okay, yeah. All right, so these are the um, things that we put there. Um, the Apple TV, the iPad, and uh, that's it. And, and, and a small projector, a mini projector, so we can move that, right? And um, the, the, te uh, the instructors, the lecturers from King Mongkut, I think, have seen it, right? And I think um, we had another. Uh, Rangsit University also visited us, all right? Okay, so these are the um, board of directors of the university. They came. So, so look, look at here, the um, information counter that I'm saying to you. So it, it, it transforms, and they can use it to, you know, as a flexible learning space, right? Okay. So this is our, um, what do you call it? A uh, video conferencing room, okay? Just changing it a little bit put the word clouds and it becomes a new room, right? Okay, and this is our current um, lecture theater. So this is what we plan. Well, not now, but um, this is our future vision, right? Talking about vision. <laughs> this is actually in, I think in RMIT, I think, right? But um, this is taken from the uh, Australia project. Okay? So step four, recognition, huh? ceremony for the um, lecture, sorry, again in Malay, but uh, you get it. So um, it's just not you do innovation and then nothing comes from you. So it has to has it has to have a ecosystem, right? Innovation and ecosystem. Also, the software is biteable. Again, just clicks. I just put some clicks, and then it becomes an innovation, right? It becomes videos. Right? All right, so we, um, yeah, so these are the faculty uh, MOOCs, right? So let's go, right? So this is the recognition ceremony. And step five, using MOOCs in inspiring the community as learning developers. So what we did is um, to make MOOC work, to make innovation work, we have to, um, you know, uh, deliver it and share it with the community, to the public, right? So here, this is the Fairview International School. Okay. Okay, this is some of the videos, all right. Okay. This is like, a, I think a, it was a 30 minute, an hour, an hour <laughs> workshop with them. Let me just show you. Okay, so let's just skip to the. Okay, this is a horror film. It's um, just to show you what they can do in 30 minutes. Have fun with the technology. It doesn't have to be, you know, just break the ice. Getting scarier, right? I should change. Okay, all right. Anyway, so <laughs> it's getting. Uh, it will be. Uh, it, it's not good for. Okay. Anyway, um, but okay. So this that is for primary school. This is we did it with um, secondary school. All right. Okay. And um, this is with. Uh, university of Malaysia Kelantan. It's um, uh, a another public university. Okay, so they created iBooks. All right, and um, reaching out to the marginalized communities. So this is what we also did. This is a seven-hour drive, and then another another seven hours. So it's fourteen-hour drive into the. It was a real experience, right? So, um, so the problem with this community is that 
um, it takes seven hours to go to school. So what we did was we took um, the... Okay. All right, this is me teaching a bit on the um, uh, literacy. This is a literacy model, right? And so the literacy model module is show you okay and what we did is we um, gave them an iPad this is the first time they use an iPad okay give them an iPad garage band because um, uh, the uh, indigenous um, people there they love music so the way to attract them was putting music first and then ABC's letter I mean later so um, all right so this is him these are the teachers, actually, the two teachers. All right. Okay, and this is the. Where is it? Okay. Finally, so the blending of IT. and uh, some you know, physical pro 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 percussions. And this is um, on the newspaper. Anyway, so now, July 2017, the impact of our work, the Malaysia MOOCs and the UKM MOOC. Okay? So now we have over uh, 206 courses with um, 270,000 students. Since the uh, 2014, and all right, these are our courses. All the public universities have MOOCs, and um, this also sparked the Malaysian Education Blueprint 2015-2025, which um, the ninth shift is globalized online learning, and we also have e-learning guidelines okay, for implementation of the blended learning and MOOCs, right? So, and we also have the MQA, which is the uh, credit transfer for MOOCs, okay? Um, in terms of policy level. So, this is the, let's say the quote I'll, ending with, I'll be ending it with, is small changes lead to big impacts, right? Innovation, come from you, right? Small changes. And we have to inspire. If we are good in technology, and we are good in pedagogy, we are good in space, uh, I mean, uh, de designing of le learning space, that, that's what I mean, okay? We have to work together. And as Professor Handy says, friendship. We have to create that group of friends, group of champions, of local champions, and later, maybe global champions, all right? And um, in hope that we can grow and uh, lead to bigger change and innovation in uh, this era. All right? Okay. So, let me. All right. So, let me end with a, a work, workshop <laughs> invitation. Um, uh, you can come to our uh, workshop. It's on uh, room 313, 1.30 to 4.30 on how to redesign the uh, MOOC experience with um, the softwares that I showed you, right? And it will be a hands-on um, workshop, so you can have a look and um, enjoy. And so let me end with that. Small changes lead to big impacts. Cope, cope. Thank you so very much, uh, Dr. Helmi Norman. Uh, he's finished his presentation on the redesigning learning experience on MOOC. Uh, and uh, 
in the afternoon session, uh, you can shop around the concurrence session from which will take place uh, from room 211 until 261. And please be informed that uh, some presentations are conducted in Thai uh, in the program book. You can refer to that. And uh, tomorrow morning, uh, we still have the uh, plenary session by the keynote speakers. So uh, I wish to come back and then uh, hope to catch you up again tomorrow morning. So enjoy the afternoon session after your luncheon. Thank you so very much. สวัสดีครับ. <laughs>